Photo okay? Huh? Photo okay? Photo? Okay, five dinar, photo. Five dinar? Five. One second. Five dinar. Do you photo you? No, only I take photo. Ah. Ah. No, this is only good. joking? No. Okay. Shukran. Okay hey there, good afternoon. This is Jerba Island, Tunisia. There we got some parachuters and a horse camel farm or whatever. So you can see an idyllic beach scene there with the thatched umbrella things, people sitting on the sunbeds. I am finally kind of realizing after uh, like three days here that the deal is people come here and do the all-inclusive resorts on the private beaches that you cannot get onto if you're not staying at the hotel. I encountered that a couple days ago, my first day, when I walked from one beach to another one and tried to lay down my uh, towel and a security guy came over and kicked me back to the beach that I'd walked from where I guess it was a public beach. And so there are the public and private beaches, I guess. And so here we have two resorts, it looks like, Maya and La Marsa at the end of this road. So you cannot get to the beach. I don't really care all that much about uh, getting to the beach other than just showing you guys. I just tried to go to a beach, like a more remote one that was out this point. And so I turn on to this uh, random side road that Google Maps was telling me to uh, go down and then it turned into this network of all these like just roads in the sand, dirt and sand and, and uh, so not paved, intertwining along this sort of wide uh, plateau area with the sea on both sides. And so I drove to this one point, just like a mile or so, and then uh, stopped and walked over to the beach and it was very kind of garbage strewn, seaweed, not very inviting. There was an abandoned building they looked really interesting nearby. I started to walk over to it and then there were some people there. It just kind of felt sketchy and so I decided to abandon that and then uh, stick to the more uh, popular places. So, drove down here to check out this uh, part of the island and this seems to be where the you know nicest uh, places are as far as the hotels and probably the beaches are a lot nicer as well. So, the mission then is to uh, try to find the beach in this area that I can actually go to and then see what else we can see. In my last couple of hours I'm catching a flight in like six hours to Tunis, the capital of Tunisia, and going to be exploring in that area for uh, the next several days. So uh, let's get back in the rental car and keep exploring. So look at this classic, classic car. Never seen this one before, I don't think. Peugeot. Very, like, maybe 1940s looking. Pretty awesome. So, uh, the deal at the beginning there with the money is that uh, I was going to uh, ask him first before pointing the camera at the horse, and then some people like came down the road and those guys, I guess they're the security guys, got distracted talking with them, and so I decided to just go for it. And uh, so turn the uh, camera on there at the horse and then the guy noticed me and so I decided to ask him, you know, camera okay. And he said uh, five dinar. And this is kind of like a common thing that will happen. And usually they're joking and it can be hard to tell, but I didn't want to keep the uh, filming going without actually giving him some money if he was serious. Also five dinar is like a dollar fifty, so no big deal. So I was perfectly happy to uh, give him, you know, a buck fifty in exchange for filming his horse there as a nice little introduction to the video. Now the problem is that I didn't have a five dinar note, but I have all this change. He then said no. So I guess he was just joking around, whatever. Anyways, let's uh, get moving.
And let's see what's going on here, but it looks like we might have beach access. All right, all right, all right. It is hot, hot, hot. I am definitely ready for a swim. So this is Dar Jerba Beach. Unfortunately, I see a sign that says private plage, means uh, beach. So let's see what happens. Interesting kind of encampment area. It doesn't really look like a private beach. So far, so good. Water not looking spectacular. At least it isn't super smelly like the other beaches that were more besieged by the uh, seaweed, but there's definitely seaweed in there. Nice little curving bay here. Okay, which way to uh, stroll? I see like a uh, water park out there. I'd seen a sign for it before. Let's wander past these little shack things and uh, see what the deal is. Maybe little shops. Let's get the feet in the sand. And I have a convenient place to put them. These loops on my backpack, that is like an essential thing when I get a day pack is these loops on the side to put your sandals. Like that. Okay, they are not shops. Looks like they are little uh, spots for people to be in the shade and then make their lunch. Oh, she's uh, cooking some fish there. Hoping to maybe find a spot without the seaweed. Water's nice and blue out there. Good spot for a nap. Yeah, so this is definitely like the uh, locals' beach, it seems like. And nobody kicking me off it. So that's what you gotta wade through in order to get in the water. Ugh. I mean, it's all perfectly natural, I guess, if it's just seaweed, but uh... Not a pretty sight, anyways. So what is up with that watchtower being right there? It looks exactly like a prison uh, tower. And there is a wall there. Huh. Okay, what's going on over here? A nice resort. Big pool there. Kind of casual style it seems like but nobody around. Now this definitely seems like it could be a private beach, but maybe that uh, resort is closed because no people here, hardly.
And then here we have a closed down restaurant, I guess, maybe like restaurant bar. And another resort around the corner. And it is looking uh, nicer and more busy. I bet I'll get kicked off this beach. Let's uh, go for it. No harm in trying. And so this whole resort is closed down, obviously. Who knows why? Maybe just because not enough business to support, you know, this many uh, resorts along here. Maybe because of COVID or just less tourism in general. I bet anything, this guy in the orange shirt, he's coming after me. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, uh, the water is a little nicer here. Let's go for a swim before I get kicked out of here. So this seems to be kind of the main tourist zone. All lined with uh, pretty nice looking resorts. Hotel Rim Beach. Seabell Rim Beach. There's something called Jerba Explore Park which sounds like some sort of a water park or uh, maybe nature park, something like that up ahead. Probably something I won't go into, but uh, just wanted to poke around this area because it sounded like it was gonna be kind of the main tourist zone and just see kind of a different uh, side of the island. That almost looks like some sort of Disney castle. Another resort, Jerba Bahia, Robinson. Maybe this is the Explorer Park up ahead, or maybe the water park that I saw a sign for. So I'm definitely getting more of a taste of the real tourist zone today. Let's uh, turn this AC back on. Okay, where is the Explorer Park? And then we'll go to a uh, town in the interior. Masood, something like that. Looks like another beach area. Yep, with the uh, little shacks. By the looks of it, this must be a public beach. Looks like one of the main beaches, lots of people here. I guess I'm watching the road. As always. So I have to be back to my hotel in one hour. Let's try to see a little bit more. And end of the road. I think uh, to go to the Explorer Park, I needed to turn onto a different road, but I wouldn't have seen this uh, beach otherwise. So turn it around. There's a sandy road right there. Not gonna take my chances with that. Dogs and cats in the right place, hanging out in the shade.
Jerba Explorer. Jerba Explorer consists of three separate attractions, a museum, some gardens, and the crocodile farm, and is very reasonably priced at 12 dinars. Wow. 12 dinars? That's $4. So I drove past it right there without realizing it because there wasn't really much of a sign. There was like this tiny little sign for some reason. And so I'm going to uh, drive past it again. I'm not going to go into it. It's going to be a whole, you know, family scene and kids and everything. And I don't have time anyways. But there is the uh, town of Madun very close by. And so I wanted to uh, stop by there on my way back to my room. And I'll show you what the uh, Explorer Park looks like from the outside here. It is all these white buildings on the right. So there is a, a sign for it, Jerba Explorer. Lots of horse, taxi, horse rides. So this is the entrance right here. I was expecting like this big, you know, huge sign. There's, there's the sign. <laughs> oh, there we go, a little bigger. And so here you can see Madun. Go there next. I forget what's there, but it was on the list of things to see on Jerba Island. This is Madun. Let's see if it's worth stopping and wandering around. It is 4.30. It says AM, but that's obviously afternoon. And I am driving to the airport at 6.15. I need to uh, get packed up and all that. Looks like a fairly lively town. Feels almost as big and as busy as a uh, Humpsuk. I'm sure, it's smaller, but uh, maybe this is the second largest town on the island because it definitely feels larger than all of the other ones that I drove through yesterday. See, thumbs up. Unless he was insulting me, but. Uh, there's been a debate in uh, the comments of previous videos of mine as to whether or not the thumbs up is an insult in this part of the world or not. It seemed like he was giving me a genuine thumbs up there and not an insult, so uh, I guess it's cool in Tunisia. Okay, just doing a random drive through. Jerba Mall. This is a pretty happening town. I was not expecting this. I was totally expecting this super dusty, just uh, like barely a town like the uh, other places that I went yesterday. So uh, glad that I stopped through just to uh, see the other major uh, town on the island with a full-on mall. It looks pretty nice, actually. Let's go ahead and wrap around this way. It looks like we got a bus stop. Yep, transport.
Madun, another Tunisian desert island town. And if you're hot, you can go to the mall. this. Melons. Fruits and legumes. More melons. Cool hat. Okay, I think. Uh, that is basically going to do it for the Madun tour. It is hot out there. I'm tired. I got a flight to catch. So I think that is it for Jerba Island, but lots more coming from Tunisia. I'm staying in Tunis for two nights and then Sidi Bou Said for two nights. Right near the uh, ancient ruins of Carthage. Really looking forward to that. Always love my uh, ancient Roman ruins. Okay, this is a good place to put the camera away. See ya.